Hello, I'm Festus Olua Tosi Adewoli, your host here on Ovam TV YouTube channel. So, grab a seat as we serve you with the undiluted Word of God, creatively packaged to nourish and bless your soul. Please, don't forget to click the subscribe button for you to get notified of our subsequent uploads. And we love you to join us as we spread the knowledge of God's word to the hands of the heart by sharing the link of our contents with family and friends. Also, we shall be expecting your feedbacks because your comment matters a lot to us. It helps us to get better. Don't forget to also like our videos for it helps YouTube algorithm to recommend our contents to other YouTube users. So thank you and God bless you. I'm a good customer. How many egg do you need? Ah, my lord, you pretend that you know. See, see the kind of egg you put in an egg roast. Ah, it is not our fault. It is not my fault. It is the economy. It is what we buy that we sell. Which, eh? which economy? It is rather your greed. You are too greedy. See, if you see a gun, you possibly will steal. Ah, ah, Auntie Han. Who am I even calling Auntie Han? Eh, Han. In my own shop, you are calling me a thief? Yes, you are a thief, a bloody greedy thief. Eh? Me? Nye, me no? Mm-hmm. We shall see. There is nothing you can do. Nothing. Nonsense. Anne. Anne. Ha. You will see what I will do. We shall see. What sort of embarrassment is this? Eh? Nye, me no. Sister Gift, did I remember to tell you your beauty lightens up gloomy atmosphere? Oh. <laughs> Are you? Of course I'm serious. Just just look at you. You're wonderfully and beautifully made. Really? Oh yeah. I mean, you're amazing. We have to just thank God for that. Most ladies like you, they, they don't want to stay natural. You know, they have to bleach their skin. But look at you. I beg God, finish work for your body. God, finish work for your body. Let's... <laughs> 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 I'm flattered. Oh, see, of course, you have to be flattered. I know what I'm, I know what I'm talking about. You're thank you. Brethren, how are you? Fine, sir. Good evening, sir. Uh, how are you doing? Uh, fine, sir. How did your day go? It was fine. Good. Yes, sir. Well done, sir. You have a blessing. Yeah, and you too, sir. I know your uncle was coming. This is why there's no problem. I'm I think it's time for me to go. Yeah.
How's your day been? It has been fine. There's no problem. Um, thank you so much for today once again. At least today was a success. And thank you for giving me this everlasting smile. Hmm? This is my pleasure, Brooklyn. Okay, Alright, there's no problem. So I'll head back to my um, to my shop. Okay. Call you later. Keep looking beautiful though. Huh? Alright now. Take care. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, how are you? How's your day? How's your day? I'm not tired. I'm not going to get just food. Sweet juice. Come on, come on. Say what me reposted. Just, uh, if I'm talking about, I think I'm picking up. Look at what she posted. Just No, no. See, see, it's not like that. No, it's not like that. See, see, see. I think maybe it was a question for and was it? No, no. What is this? Good evening, Auntie. Good evening, Uncle. Give me. How are you? Very fine. How's me okay? It's my turn. You're welcome. I heard you. She's a good person. I will see. Look at her. You see, you see. Ah, you see. Who is this? Tell me, Tayo. Tayo. How long will it take you to drop your daddy's bag in the room? Check that food and make sure it doesn't get burned. Auntie. Yes, dear. Let me finish up this cooking. Huh? Hi, yo. You can go attend to something else. I've mm. got this covered. Uh. <laughs> that should be a miracle. A, a, a great miracle. Back to my gist. Okay, thanks. <laughs> See. <laughs> Why you? Why you? Why you? Why you Allah? Wait up. Oh, God, kill him. Huh? Look, I say you don't win jackpot. <laughs> no, tell me why you think I don't win jackpot. Ha. This is your smile today, eh? Ha. Ha. Don't be for you. Ah, forget that thing. See, me, I always have every day of my Babu. life. Babu! Babu! Uh, Babu, uh, this one they pretty 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 different. Mm, eh, mm. it's different. Malami, please. Eh? What do you want, but no stress. Eh, you get them for final food juice. Sir? Final food juice. I don't care. This one. What is this? Yeah. Okay, give me juice. Final food juice. I just come there. Ah. Mommy, Tayo. Yes, dear. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? What happened? Something was different about gift this evening. Ah. I was going to ask you the same question. Really? Ever since she returned from the outing with that brother, she has been smiling uncontrollably, smiling all around. <laughs> That's love for you. You know, I personally caught her smiling twice this evening. I think she's concealing something. Mm. I hope herself and that brother have not done anything stupid. Uh -huh. Well, I'm optimistic. Let's just give her time to spill the beans. It is definitely going to be good news. Daddy Tayo. Yes. I hope so. I just hope so. No problem. <laughs> you see, uh, Christianity on campus, it's second to none. Mm, mm, no lies. Mm. No lies. Guys were just so hot for God yes, anyhow on campus. Back then, we had brothers and sisters that were very hot for God mm. with manifestations of 
diverse gift of the spirit. Mm. Huh. Our weekly fellowship there used to be very, very fiery. But check out all those Christians, brothers and sisters you had on campus now. How many of them are still effectively burning for God today? Mm. In fact, none. Because the truth is, I can't even picture any for my own campus fellowship. You can't just complain that way. Uh -huh. That you haven't seen doesn't mean they don't exist. Mr. Man! <laughs> What are you insinuating? <laughs> you still don't get the gist. <laughs> okay, let me come out again. There are still vibrant children of God from campus fellowships who are burning for God today. That is almost impossible. I mean, everyone is working tirelessly, having as many streams of income as possible in order to thrive in this current economic recession. And Christians are not even accepted from this. Maybe aside those that end up in ministry, shall. And well, <laughs> Mr. Hippong, you are right. But at the same time, you are wrong. Mr. Toba, don't let us prolong this discussion unnecessarily. All right, show me just one person. A vibrant Christian brother on campus that has uh, maintained this vibrancy over the years. <laughs> One example. <laughs> uh, well, mm. uh, mm. yes, Wokile. <laughs> ah, he was our prayer coordinator on campus. Ah, that boy has tongues was like earthquake. <laughs> His accuracy in the spirit was well recognized. <laughs> ah, that brother shared with us very plenty national and international uh, prophecies that eventually came to pass. Seriously? <laughs> he even prophesied the state where I had my wife's earthquake. Uh, okay. <laughs> How about his current state? Does it match with the brother Caleb on campus? Uh, well, I believe so. <laughs> it may like brother Caleb cannot grow cold anyhow. <laughs> yeah, although it's been a while I heard from him, but uh, <laughs> no, 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 he's not into ministry work. Seriously? Because I heard he's now a successful business type. <laughs> so what you are trying to say in this sense is that he's an ambassador of Christ in the business world. <laughs> and you want me to just believe all that you just said then? Eh? <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Since you are finding it difficult to believe me, mm. maybe we should just put a call to go to him. <laughs> <laughs> Better! Because you see this your imaginary product, killer story, eh? It cracks me up. <laughs> ah, killer. Yes. <laughs> Hello, brother Caleb. <laughs> Hello, good afternoon, sir. Uh, who am I up with? Yes, it's me, your brother. <laughs> your brother, Toba from CCP Campus Fellowship. <laughs> oh, oh, brother, uh, brother Toba, right? I I'm so sorry I asked who, who was on the line. I, I changed my phone. Can you hear me? I, ch I said I changed my phone recently. Hello, are you there? Hello? Hello? Hello, brother Caleb. Hello? Well, I could barely hear him. Mm -hmm. The network is bad. I'm calling much more later. Uh, well then, no oh, voila. <laughs> no, I don't voila. I can't imagine that you are. <laughs> this matter, if we continue on this the matter, the economy recession is something to. We will continue too. to drag and drag uh. and drag. Uh. I'm so sorry I took your time. I was trying to please. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, tell you how it is. Why are you so different in this market? That is why I like buying my product from you. Different? Yes. How do you mean? You see, you don't tell lies. You don't cheat your customers. And your products are not substandard. Well, I understand the point you are driving us right now. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh, now, back to my question. Why are you so different in this market? Oh, okay. You see, the truth is, as believers, right, we are to be ambassadors of Christ 
in any field of life we find ourselves, be it the business world, the professional world, name it. We are expected to represent Christ and live our life as Christ lived while he was on earth. Hmm. Hey, but wait, I can name many Christians in this same market who are not practicing this. They are extortionists and sometimes they even sell inferior products. Oh. <laughs> well, you are right, it's very possible. Uh, you know, today we have many Christians, uh, just like the five foolish virgins, who do not await the coming of the bridegroom. So they blend with the tides of the world, and the result is you, you can hardly differentiate between them and unbelievers. Hmm. Anyway, that is why I like patronizing you. Thank you eh? so much. You are a very honest man. Thank you so and, uh, much. And it is very obvious. Uh, very, very obvious. Oh, glory be to God. Eh? Um, please. Help me add this All right. to my There's receipt. no problem. Hey, hey. So you so I will do, do transfer. transfer. I will do transfer. All right, thank, thank you, you so very much. much. Thank you so much, sir. Easy. Hey, hey, just let me help, help you up. Help me All right. Up. Hey, hey. All right now. You. Okay, I will, I will transfer. Yeah, I'll bye. I'll your account number. Your parents are right, but I am not a stranger, am I? Mm. They know me already. Come on, take eat it. Come on. Oh my God. Okay. That's very good. Okay. You can go back to your seat. Thank you. You're welcome. Wait, Miss Ah, uh, it is not Miss Anne. Ah, uh, uh, Miss Anne. Few hours ago, you were in my office seeking permission to attend to a distress call. I even granted you a day off from work. So what's happening, Miss Anne? Ah, uh, Miss Anne, Miss Anne, Miss Anne. <laughs> Jesus. Hello? Hello. Ah. Okay, Lev. Hope you can hear me very well now. Yeah, very well. I could hardly hear what you were saying when you called me earlier today. The network was crappy. Coupled with the noise that comes from the marketplace. Yes, yes. I noticed. <laughs> All right. So good to hear from you again, Brother Toba. I mean, it's quite an age. Ah, yes, so work a level. How is work and how is family? Family? <laughs> I'm not a married man yet, uh, but very soon, sure, you know, God makes all things beautiful in his own time. Incredible. <laughs> anyway, that's all you spiritual boys as they do. Shall do quick. Don't they make wedding rites, they're hungry now now. 
Uh, soon, my brother. So tell me, how's work and family too? Yeah, we are fine, and so is work. Hmm. That's good to know. Ah, work eleven. You know, I have missed you so seriously. Same here, my brother. I think I have missed you more. Ah, I have missed all those very accurate uh, prophecies of yours. And now you will drive everybody, all of us, to pray back there on campus. <laughs> what a pleasant memory. Mm, in fact, I still remember how you led the executives you know, in long prayer sessions on the mountain. And then all those deliverance sessions you conducted, and now you prayerfully destroyed altars during the uh, Fellowship Village Outreach in our final year. All glory belongs to God. Hallelujah. Ah, I know the devil is in trouble. Anyway, people like you reside. I was telling my colleague at work that I would like to be like you. You, you that you're always born for God. <laughs> Well, I think it's best to ask God directly for whatever we want and not use any human as our standard. Honestly speaking, my spiritual life, eh, though not that bad, is not the same as our campus days. I struggle with my prayer life and my intimacy with God has suffered serious setback, you know, due to the hustle and bustle of life. Oh. Honestly, work left. I thought I am alone on this pedestal. I never knew we belonged to the same WhatsApp group. Yes, we do. May God have mercy on us. Mm. Mercy, Lord. Uh, it's good to hear from you again, um, Brother Toba. Can we catch up later? All right, Bo Caleb. Thank you for your time today. Yeah, bye. Bye. God have mercy, it is well.
I still can't wrap up things yet. When did you say you received the text message? Overnight. I, I, I got the text message overnight, sir. And she has been declining my calls ever since. So you're saying gift call the relationship quit? <sighs> yes, sir. What offense did you commit? I mean, what did you do to offend her? That much that could warrant such decision? None that I can remember, sir. I, I, see, sir, I need, I need you to please help me plead with her. Let her even pick my cause and tell you my offense. I'm ready to make amends. It's okay. All right. I will talk with her. And I believe God will take absolute control of this situation. Amen. Amen. I, I really appreciate you, sir. Okay. I'll be waiting to hear from you. You're welcome, bro. Caleb. Yes, sir. Ah. Please, sir. I am in a very, very tight corner. The doctor said that they will not resume my son's treatment unless I pay the medical bills. I have nowhere to go. Except I come to you to beg for a salary advance. Okay, sir. Ah, thank you, sir. God bless you, sir. As soon as I receive the notification, the credit alert, I will let you know. Just a minute. Thank you, sir. All right, sir. Who is there? Please, how may I help you? I'm Paul Alavi. And this is my son. His name is Peter. Oh. He's Domino's friend at school. Oh. <laughs> Please, come in. <laughs> Peter Thank <Alavi>. you, sir. <laughs> Peter Alavi. You're welcome, sir. Thank you, sir. <sighs> So, how may I help you? Peter has been on my neck. I should bring him here to check on his friend. Mm -hmm. And since we stay in the same neighborhood, I decided to oblige you. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, Domenino is also fond of mentioning Peter's name at every slightest opportunity. Uh, we trust God that he will be fine very soon. But as of now, we have run a series of tests on him, but we have still not been able to decipher the real cause of his ailment. Stomach ache was what he complained about that very day when he returned from school. He is quite serious than I thought. Sir, is it the last day the man came to school that Auntie Anne gave him biscuits? Ah, Auntie Anne gave him biscuits? Where? When? Yes, sir. The last day the Nino came to school, Auntie Anne gave the Nino biscuits. And after he finished eating the biscuits, he said he was feeling funny in his stomach. Ah. How come no one mentioned this to me? Why am I just getting to know this? Peter. Sir. Are you sure what you just said? Yes, Daddy. <laughs> Definitely. That teacher and, he, and the HM have something they are hiding. Mm. Mm. Uh, hey, thank you, Peter. Hey, I will storm that school first thing tomorrow morning. They will have to explain to me why my son should have stomach upset after eating the biscuits auntie gave it to him. <laughs> uh, by the time I am through with them, they will have themselves to blame. Ah. Hey, biscuits. What's making you to smile? And why are you so happy? Because the Lord has set me maritally. 
He has given me a man after his own heart that loves the Lord. And which man are you talking about? Broke Caleb, of course. It's over there, watching the bag. <laughs> that can't be. What do you mean? Caleb can't be God's will for your life. I mean, God cannot give you a man with horns as a husband. A man with horns? On <laughs> Biba work. Block Caleb does not have one. You think I'm lying? You call him. Broke leb! Broke leb! My baby! Hey! Uh -uh. <sighs> uh, yeah, <that's> <laughs> What's going on? It's me now. But I told you. Caleb can't be God's will for your life. Sister, I keep holding No, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't come here. No, don't, don't. Sister, I keep <laughs> <laughs> That's why I sent him the message to call the relationship quit because I believe God used the revelation to warn me to stay clear from Brocky Lip. This is serious. Listen up. I don't want us to treat this matter casually. Gifts. You have to go to God in serious prayers mm. for clarity. Mommy Tenitope and I will join you in praying over this issue. Clarity? I think the revelation is clear enough, sir. I don't think there is a need to move back and forth over this matter. Hmm. Revelational dreams, like this one you have just narrated, and not to be taken literally, mm -hmm. even if it appears as such. The great dream interpreter in the Bible, Joseph, said in Genesis chapter 40, verse 8, that interpretations of dream belong to God. And this is why we must not lean on our own understanding. Okay, sir. I'll do just that. Thank you, sir. She's denying it. Madam, the hair near the cropping with us, the better for all of us. <laughs> no, Jesus. Uh, I don't know anything about what he's talking about. I was not even in school that day. Not to talk of giving any of my puppies any biscuits. HM, please let me tell them you gave me a day off that day. Is that true? No, sir. Ah. Ani, yes, sir. I gave her a day off. Because of the emergency call she received. Then, who was the puppy when she left? Um, I, I stood in for her. But I, I didn't give any puppy biscuits either. Then, who did? I don't know, sir. Dupio, see these criminals. <laughs> they have made up their mind not to confess. <laughs> ah! Ah! You want to use my son for ritual? <laughs> you are joking. You are joking. Dupio. What are we doing here? Uh -uh. What are we doing? Talk to these people now! Ah, Let please. them confess to this crime! Mr. Toba, please. Please allow us to do our job. I assure you, you will get to the root of this one. Mr. Toba, believe us, we know nothing about this whole incident. <laughs> we are not responsible for Dominion's H challenge. Ah, by the time I am through with you, both of you, you will wish you had spoken the truth earlier. Ah. Uh, I am innocent. I am innocent. Madam, keep quiet. I don't think I have seen this face before. At you are all. You likely not to know me. Oh. 
Because I don't live around here. But I have had a lot of things about you. Mm. A lot of things about me? From who? I have had nice and good things about you. How nice and good you are to all and sundry. And I pray God will continue to offer you in Jesus. Amen. Actually, ma, I have come to ask for your assistance. I have come to ask for your forgiveness on behalf of my sister. She said she offended you. And you promised to deal with her mercilessly. Please forgive her. Me, deal with your sister. And who is your sister? Ah, no, we lo she ni ma. So, you think that rude and mannerless girl is your sister? Yes, ma. Please forgive her. I have nothing against her. I have nothing against her. She was my very good customer until the day she came here to accuse me of theft in my shop. Though I was offended, I was offended, but I have forgiven her since. Eh? I have nothing against her. Hope she's fine. She is not, Toma. In fact, she is presently in the police custody as we speak for a case she knows nothing about. That was why she asked me to come here and plead on her behalf to please forgive her. And stop dealing with her. Please. Your ma. Please. Please, oh. Don't implicate me. I do not know what you are talking about. Yeah, I'm sorry, ma. You have overstayed your welcome. Oh, yeah. I Come and sorry. be going. I am sorry, ma. She is very remorseful now. Please forgive her. I said I am not responsible for her predicament. I am a very good Christian. Eh? Abby? Auntie, leave my shop. Or I'll call the whole community on you. You're welcome. I am sorry for keeping you with. Uh, it's not a problem, sir. Uh, thank you for everything. Although she's here to pick my calls, but I'm trusting God everything will be fine. Definitely. All is well. I believe you are praying concerning this matter too. To be honest with you, sir, I'm too overwhelmed to pray. Every attempt I made to pray, it's ended up in tears or depression. I, I'm frustrated and tired. Men ought always to pray and not to faint. Luke 18, 1. Please, don't be tired. Your salvation is nearer than you thought. I believe. Yeah. I called you to discuss with you the revelation that God showed us when mommy and I were praying concerning this issue. Uh, okay, sir. Tijade is the name the village was called in that revelation. Tijade? Yes. That name sounds very familiar. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ah, Today is now for Jesus Christ. Yes. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah, hey, Mama, are you sure these are all the idols in this household? Aji mm. mm. These are all the idols that we have in the house. Ah, <laughs> Oh, uh, 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 Baba, uh, uh, what about it? Uh, <laughs> Baba, if there is any other idol in this house, you have to go and bring it out though. <laughs> because you are now a new creature. Yes. And the Bible says, if anyone is in Christ, he is now a new creature. 
old things have passed away yeah, yeah. and all things have become new. So you have to bring it out so we can destroy it. Hmm. Uncle, you see, actually this idol is as harmless as fly. Is the idol that prosperous in this house. Oh, Rajini, you are a Rajini. Baba, she's a Rusa. You see, the word of God cannot be broken. You shall serve no other gods. You see, hey, Baba, you need to give up the old in order for you to pave way for the new. Hmm. The same way you cannot put a new wine in an old wine hmm. skin. No. Baba, on Lord Timothy, the God that I serve, the same God you gave your life to, hmm. is more than enough to prosper you and make your house unfruitful. <laughs> yes! Baba, imagine for you. Hmm. You need me have to destroy every representation of the devil in this household before the most high can abide. Hmm. Oh. So I'm coming. You have to bring it out. Very important. Bring it out, sir. So we can destroy it. Let's destroy everything. Ha! Huh? Huh. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Aje. Thank you, Jesus. Aje. Ore. Oshaje. Jesus, Lord of Jesus, we destroy every stronghold. Every stronghold of the devil in this house, we destroy you in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. No stronghold is free from demons. Lord of Jesus, in this house, in the name of Jesus, only be Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Ah, to Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Ah, glory. Hallelujah. You people have driven away from my domain. You have made me homeless. I will fight back. And you still fall back again. Can't you see that they carry fire? We dare not meddle with them now. Ah, we did not go scot free. Give them, give it time. Give them time. Just give them a little more time. Believers are not good at maintaining their fire. Especially these young chaps. They will soon graduate and be engrossed with the puzzle and puzzle of life. Would you train them their fire? Then we will come back for them with more deadly counterpart of ours and afflict them. Ah! <laughs> yes! Mm. Young fool, we will come back when your fire is gone. We will fight back. We will come back. We, we shall, shall return. return! Blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Sir, that was the last village outreach I went to as an undergraduate with my fellowship. These demons have been the ones sponsoring frustration in my marital journey. But, but I thought it was my village people. No wonder. No wonder. So every single sister I've ever proposed to, they, 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 they quit along the line. Ah, Jesus. is ever true. Do you remember the words of our Lord and Savior in Matthew chapter 12 verse 43 to 45? 
when the unclean spirit is gone out of a man, he walketh through dry places, seeking rest and finding none. Then he said, I will return into my house from whence I came out. And when he is gone, he findeth empty, swept, and garnished. Then goeth he and take care with him seven other spirits, more wicked than himself, more wicked than himself. And he enter in and dwell there. And the last state of that man is worse than the first. Even so shall it be also unto this wicked generation. This is more reason why we should not stop following our Lord Jesus Christ closely. Because the enemy will always come back to check how fireful. Even our Lord Jesus Christ was only left for a season after his victory in the wilderness of temptation. The devil doesn't concede defeat. He's always on his toes, roaming about, looking for the slightest opportunity to strike any believer that dares loses his guard. Not everyone survives even if it is just one strike from the enemy as a result of slumber. Brokele, it is time to go back to the upper room and carry fire. I know you spend a lot of time in the marketplace, but that does not stop you from tonguing. Rekabandebo. <laughs> Rebaka soba pregedebo le kayande basuka riba kaposha. I am for peace, but when I speak, they are for war, says the psalmist in Psalm 120, verse 7. Life is not funfair, it is warfare. So we must not relate or turn back because the enemy will always come back. Rakamba la bosse kemba de bo repa kale ba jiba ka paso ba dan bosse regegege bo ka paranda bo ka po jiba ka pa pregede ba magande o pregede bo rakande bo se kia hello Hello, boy, Caleb. Ah, uh, it's quite early this morning. Hope all is well at your end. Ah, by His grace, all is now well. But I'm calling so that all will continue to be well with you too. Uh, how do you mean, brother? Bob? The Lord just revealed to me that the demons in those graven images we destroyed at Tijadi village have come back on a revenge mission to attack us. And I'm calling you to brace up. See, this is a wake-up call to ensure fire burns on your altar continually, lest you become a victim of their attack just like me. Demons? Demons from Tijadi village? <laughs> from where to where? <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, bro, Caleb. This does not make sense to me at all. Uh, I, I mean, I, I respect God's grace upon your life, but <laughs> this can't be it. You mean that the demons from uh, Tijade village outreach that we had over a decade ago are the ones responsible for the, the predicament I'm now in? Ah, uh, ah, uh, no now. <laughs> that doesn't add up. Of course, it's very possible. <laughs> okay. Maybe I will be on the lookout for those demons. <laughs> but I know the source of the present predicament that I am in. And it is not any demon from Tigade. <laughs> it is my son's class teacher and his headmaster. <laughs> they want to play a trick on me. <laughs> I will deal with them. <laughs> Bro, Toba, don't be ignorant of the devices of the devil. See, I, I understand. 
I understand. Let me get back to you. The DPO is calling me. Uh, we we'll talk later. <laughs> Demons. Hello? Hello, DPO? Uh, yes? Ah, yes, Pogues. Ah, great, great. Uh, uh, I'll join you now. I'll join you soon. Okay, okay, okay. Good afternoon, doctor. How is he doing now? Ah, no improvement at all. In fact, all the complaints are still there. Oh, really? Yeah. The result of the food block count is out, mm -hmm. and it is essentially normal. Ah. And we await the result of further test, and hopefully we'll be able to make the right diagnosis. Ha, ah, doctor. What are we going to do now? Or oh, are you saying... Calm down, madam. Your son will be fine. Where is your husband? He went on to change and to get some things for us. All right. Uh, let him see me when he returns. All right. Okay. Thank you, doctor. You'll be fine, okay? You'll be fine. I still don't get it. Are you trying to tell me that uh, one spirit from somewhere entered my son's class with the image of this auntie to give him biscuits or what? Yes, sir. <laughs> make this make sense to me now. No, make it make sense to me. Is this what you call progress? I'm afraid. Yes. Ah. <laughs> Rokile? Uh, uh, never mind. Never mind. But we can't continue to detain these people without sufficient evidence. Hello, Rokile. See, I'm sorry, I'm still... I know, I know you are very busy right now. But you see, this was placed heavily in my spirit. It's an emergency. I'm about to leave it for my shop right now, but this came as a heavy burden and I had to call you immediately. What is it? Please, wherever you are, just try to get your anointing oil and anoint your son right now. The devil is about to strike. Please do fast. I will join you. What? <laughs> The lab has escaped from our grip. Mm. <laughs> Not only that, he is trying to help Toba to escape from our grip too. <laughs> that must not happen. Ah! <laughs> Every now! Go and kill that boy now! <laughs> <laughs> Good of you.
Dominini! Dominini! Doctor! Doctor! What kind of strange atmosphere is this? Lift up your hands, O ye gates, and be lifted up, ye everlasting doors, and the King of Glory shall call me. Marcus Sinte Dralik is in here, Sinte. Marcus Zinge Dralik is Sinte, Zinge Dralik is Santa, Zinge. Marcus Zinge Dralik is Sinte, Zinge Dralik is Zinge, Sinte. Marcus Zinge Dralik is Santa, Zinge Dralik is Sinte, Zinge. Marco Sinte Tralik is in here, Tralik is Sinte. No, 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 no! Doctor! No, no, no! Do we know what is this? Do we know? Doctor! Doctor! Do we know? Oh my god! Oh my god! Do we know? Ah! Ah! Do we know? 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 In Jesus' name. Amen. You will not die badly. Amen. Amen. By the grace of God. Amen. You will not die badly. Amen. Amen. You will not die. Amen. You will not die. You will not die. You will not die. You will not die. Where are you coming from? Uh, Come to me, what happened? Uh, where's the bag? Uh, oh God! Oh God! Talk to me! Let me check on that boy. This was the exact strange feeling I had when I stepped into his world. Be fire filled, it mustn't be empty. For the devil, the uncle, you are what you mean, sir. It's not. Let's go do this. Just said the marriage committee has approved the wedding date, the summit date. Yes, ma. Wow. Hallelujah. <laughs> Uh, you see, Ma, I just want to say a big thanks to you, sir, and Ma, for seeing to the prosperity of this marital journey. Oh, glory be to God. Hallelujah. Just always remember that life is not funfair, but warfare. So we must not turn back because the devil will always come back seeking for opportune moments. We must never give it to him. Yes. All right. Every <laughs> set. <laughs> uh, thank you, Mons. This first.
for the devil not to have a place in your life. Your life must be fire filled, must be empty. Not to have a place in it. Your life must be fire filled, mustn't be empty. For the devil not to have a place in it. Oh. Fire